Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do an update on my reading journal because I did not film a reading journal video last month. So today I'm going to show you both my May and June spreads um, because I just set up June and I finally figured it out and finished May. I will say like May was not a great reading month for me and I definitely neglected my journal so I kind of had to go back and fill it in. Um, later so that's finally all done so I'll show you both May and June as a little bit of a backtrack and I'll go ahead and say I don't really love either of these spreads um, the last time I uploaded was my bumblebee spread and I really liked that one but the past two I have really just not been feeling them so um, that's kind of the reason I didn't film but I figured I'd show you anyways even though they're not like my favorite um, so yeah let's just get into it So here is my May spread. Um, so I actually um, used, again, the Jollico stickers. This was kind of like a highlighter stationery set. Um, so I got these off of Jollico on Instagram, not Instagram, on Etsy. Um, so we have like a paintbrush, um, binder clip, paint, sticker set, art easel, calendar, um, phone, some boba, again, more art supplies, highlighter, that sort of thing. Um, and I really didn't know what direction I wanted to go with this. I almost went with this like pastel blue color, but then I decided to use this color instead. Um, and so as usual, I did my May hopefuls. And so with that, um, the hopefuls, and I'm glad I put hopefuls because I didn't read any of them. Uh, we had hidden pictures, Vicious Fay, Rock, Paper, Scissors, The Wall of Winnipeg and Me. I actually started this. I read the first chapter, but I didn't finish it because that just was not my mood. So I ended up switching things up. Terms and Conditions, Bane Chronicles, The Goal, She Who Became the Sun, Anastasia, and Reaper at the Gates. I only, out of these, read Hidden Pictures, Rock, Paper, Scissors, and Bane Chronicles. So I didn't do a great job of keeping up with the books that I kind of planned out to read. But that's okay. I read other things. Um, and then because there was like this phone playing music, I replicated that um, for May and made it like it was a song um, playing. And that's kind of just like the direction I went with this. I don't love it. But looking back, I don't think it's the worst thing ever. Um, and then this is my stats page, which I just went and erased all of the... Um, pencil marks so we have days read there were there was some times in which I did not feel like reading or I read but it was like a chapter so it wasn't the best I read 2858 pages and seven books total my favorite book this month was fourth wing so that's there and then this I did a line graph but I didn't feel like coloring them so I just did black for my genre so I had romance fantasy thriller horror YA mystery and dystopian um, and then again, just tracking my show socials, I used some of the Jollico stickers um, again. And then I stuck with this sort of layout where I did like doodles, um, the star rating, the title, the picture of the book, and quotes. Um, so we have Icebreaker, Rock, Paper, Scissors. I, like, I really liked my drawings on ice Icebreaker, Rock, Paper, Scissors. I had no idea what to draw. Um, hidden pictures or <laughs> terrible drawings, um, but I pretended like I was drawing little kid pictures because the little kid draws pictures. This, I literally didn't know what to draw, so this one was just like a flop. And then for Shatter Me, again, awful. I tried to do like Shattered Glass. It looks bad. Bane Chronicles, terrible. I was trying to do like a magic spiral. It looks awful. We're not going to look at that. Fourth Wing, the dragon's actually not that bad. I kind of liked it. Um, and then I had extra space at the end, so I just added in a quote and some, like, stickers. Um, this paper and these stickers are all from Amazon. They're in my storefront. Um, and that's, like, how I, I used all of those stickers when I set up my beginning spreads. So it's from the same sticker pack, which has li literally lasted me forever. Um, so that's in my Amazon storefront. If you're curious, I just use those again. They're kind of like when I have an extra spot, I use these stickers since that's like the theme of the entire journal. Um, so that is it for May. And here is my June setup. So again, I'm not in love with this. Um, I used another sticker set from Jollico. Um, and then again, I used like the 
craft paper that I got from Amazon. The washi tape and like this mushroom sticker are both in my Amazon storefront as well as this um, because this is again from that sticker pack and the washi tape I also got off Amazon. And I was just trying to fill in space. I don't love how this turned out. Um, and for my TBR this month, I left four spots blank because I keep filling out these really long TBRs and not sticking to them. So I'm just going to fill it out as I think that there's a book I want to read. Um, I need to put yellow face on there because I definitely want to try and get to that this month. And there's a couple of repeats. Um, so I put Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy because as you know, I am rereading um, the Shadowhunter series and that's the next one. And so I think I need to at least knock that off this month. I'll have to talk to my friend. Um, Kingdom of Flesh and Fire because I think this is going to be the month that I finally finished from Blood and Ash. I've only read the first one. Um, so I put that on there in hopes that I'll get to it. Things We Never Got Over I'm actually reading right now. Um... Wall of Winnipeg and Me, because I did read the first um, chapter, but wasn't in the mood for it. So I do want to finish that. And then I finally want to read Anastasia, because I'm out of, like, it's summer. I have plenty of time. It's a bigger book, so I put that on there. Um, my book club's pick will be on here. We meet, like, soon, and we'll probably decide then. Um, so, yeah. And then I also just put this quote from Wuthering Heights in this, the um, one that's the quote that says, Whatever our souls are made of, his and mine are the same. I just wrote it there and I put it, but all of these stickers except for the mushroom and the washi tape are from Jollico. Um, so yeah, and then this is my stats page. I kept it very simple. Um, I kept with this color and then I switched it up to another teal. So I think I'm going to use both this blue and this teal blue. Um, but again, I put my stats for um, social media, days red. It is the third today as I'm filming this. So I've already read the first and the second. I will read today. I just haven't read yet. Um, and then a space for my pages that I've read, the number of books I read, and my favorite. And then I put another quote. Um, it says, read a thousand books and your words will flow like a river by Virginia Woolf. So I just stuck that there because it had just like this extra piece from this. So I just literally stuck it there. Um, but it very simple because I just couldn't really get into it. And then it's just blank because I do not know what I want to do. Um, I really liked the look of these sorts of spreads, but they take a while and like figuring out what to draw is not the easiest. And I hate the look of super plain spreads, but I just, I'm not sure what direction I want to go with my like book spreads yet. Um, I have already read Meet Me at the Lake, so I did print that off when I, I backtracked and printed off all of these from, like, literally the end of March until now and just pasted them in. And so I went ahead and put pr printed one of these out and pasted it there because I've already read that book. Um, I finished it yesterday, so that will go here, but I just don't, I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> Any suggestions I would love? I mean, I think that this is super cute. But I also don't know if I have the time and energy to continue doing that. I used to just do like a much more plain review spot. This one's another one where it's just plain. But I don't love that. That's like, it's really repetitive. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, and then I thought I would just give you an update. This I still need to fill out. Um, but... Um, I thought I would update you on this. So I did fill out my book club reads for the last two months. Don't know what we're doing yet for this month. Again, I have not read a single other classic. So I'm really falling behind on that. I don't, I'm just kind of over it at this point. Um, I did fill in one other alphabet challenge and I marked off a couple on my bingo. I finally got to cross off a backlist because I read Bang Chronicles. It was the first book that I had not already read. I got to add Shatter Me. I do have an arc I need to add in this list down here. Um, and then I've also filled out my book bracket more. I already have a feeling that there's no way that I'm going to read a better book than Fourth Wing in June. Fourth Wing may end up being in this top spot at some point. Um, so that's just like a little update on that. But yeah, so that is my May and my June setup. So thank you so much. If you have any idea about what I should do with my review page, let me know. Also, let's, no one really commented last month, but I'm going to do this again just to see if anyone um, cares to give their um, 
opinion. I do have two different sticker sets to go with for July. Um, and right now I'm really leaning towards using this. Um, it's got like the masquerade, but I don't want to do two fantasy ones back to back because June was very fantasy. Um, and so is this. And then my other option is this very like cottage core. It's got books and, um, plants and things like that. So comment down below which one I should use for July. Should I go with another fantasy masquerade ball or should I go with cottage vibes, cottage core? Um, let me know in the comments because I have no idea what I want to do. Um, so literally just comment fantasy or cottage core depending on which one you think I should do for July. Um, but that is all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.